Armrest. Jelly Bean. Propeller. Giant Shoe. You know how I know this is the big show for you? What? Because you're stretching your arms before we got going. Oh, yeah. Why are you stretching those arms? No, it's my back. Oh, my back's hoping, still fucked. I was hoping you're going to do like a like an interpretive dance or something. No, you were, you were making fun of me for laying down in the last show. <laughs> That's because my back hurt, so I was trying to avoid it. <laughs> to be that. honest, you made fun of yourself by laying down in the chair. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have to do much. It was just well, you called you it out, were, though. <laughs> someone would have noticed. That was pretty impressive, though. It was just like <laughs> you were, completely You were stilted sp- out. out. You had hands in your pockets. Yeah. Like, you were just like, I don't even know how you... <laughs> the See, microphone was just kind of there. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that sounds yeah, good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, Joe. <laughs> He's a well, professional. See, what, so, Looks like, good. The, the back, the point of the chair, oh, I'm trying to dig into my oh, gotcha, gotcha. sore spot. So yeah. that's what it was like. That's where it started. <laughs> that's, where, that's where it started and that's where it's ended. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, fuck, I could just do the show like this. feels way more comfortable than, <laughs> than sitting, sitting up. straight up. Episode 90 yeah. of Can You Don't. That feels good. 10 away from, from oh, a hundy. I realized I, I fucked up and said um, something... Last show that I said uh, the millennium. It's millennium because the millennium is a thousand. Yeah, yeah, it is. And someone's like, anybody here? Brian say it was a hundred years. <laughs> well, whatever. Whatever, dude. You, you know how hard asshole. it is to think on the fly. Yeah, that's the thing. You have the liberty of listening of, to it, being like you dipshit. Yeah, yeah. And then I, yeah, because yeah. I, I do the same thing. If I hear somebody do, like, oh, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> what an idiot! Like watching the Olympics, some gymnast like falls off the thing. You're like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> You're so, you, you, you suck. You dude. can't like, balance. Yeah. You fucking idiot. I'm just slamming potato chips in my mouth. Laying like, on the couch. The fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. Uh, sign up for Patreon. You'll find a link in the episode description, bonus content, exclusive merch, all that kind of stuff. And speaking of exclusive merch, we do have exclusive merch. But we also have regular merch. Let's start with the regular merch. Reg merch? The reg merch. On the reg. But we have a new shirt. Zach, you want to bring that up for me? Zach! Okay, thank you. Um, it just says, can you don't or whatever, <laughs> which you don't? is very whatever. fitting for the show. I wish I could zoom. I guess I could do that. There you go. There you go. Can you don't or whatever. <laughs> With a nice little design. You got a couple mm-hmm. different color options for it. Uh, for the exclusive merch, if you are part of Patreon, we have some stickies. We don't have any stickers. We decided to do it. We got like this hologram foil cover mm. sticker and then one that's regular and a clear back. And it just says sexy honk. Mm. And you can get some big ass ones. Look, mm. we got one up here. See, it might not look very big on camera. Oh shit! That's you can't what she even, said. You can't even see what it says. Ah, oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll work on that. But it's huge, and it just says "sexy honk." <laughs> because it's so shiny, it's hard to see what it I says. I know, I know. But great for cars, water bottles, all that kind of shit. Um, but all available right now. Head over to CanYouDon'tPodcast.com and pick up your new no. merch item. <laughs> you know what else we have? What? Which is uh, a first as well. Oh, it's not showing up. Wait, maybe it is. Hold on one second. One second. I think it is. Okay, right here. Because it fits for when you have people over, but you don't really want to see them. We have a doormat that mm-hmm. has the can you don't or whatever. And it fit. I mean, people that are trying to solicit and swing by and sell you some mm. some shampoo. I think I might get one of those for our for our porch. Yeah, for all your carpet needs. Needs, yeah. And you're like, just can you don't or whatever. For all the... <laughs> the Jehovah's, the JWs that yeah. uh, that walk around. I gotta fix this. I know you just be like, listen, you just be like, I already got tattoos. I'm already going to hell. You just right. Just don't waste your time here at this household. And I support the gays, so I'm going to mm-hmm. hell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, that's exactly all. That's where you go. Uh, all content suggestions, including stuff for petty beef or something for dick. If you got some confessions, hey guys, at can you don't podcast dot com. Let's take a look. Now, this cool little tattoo our silly daughter Deja got. Look at this silly goose. Take a peek. Deja! Look at it! And I remember her writing a description. It's got a silly goose tattoo, and then also has some kitty buttholes to represent scat cast. Yeah. Yeah. So those little little twinkles around it are some kitty buttholes. It's hard to tell where that where is the ta- where is that? It's a big toe. It, it's, that's what I thought, but it's kind of like the or way the wor- that it's cropped. The world's smallest fingers. Yeah. Well, it could be close up. Yeah, or yeah, and the knuckles are bent. I'm mm-hmm. guessing that's a toe. 
I think so. I mean, look at the wear on the fat part of that toe. Yeah. It's right on the big toe. That is so cool. I think that's uh, a grand total of, I think it's four or five of tattoos that are that are inspired by the show. I think I might get a Silly Goose tattoo. Yeah, why not? You are a fucking silly ass goose mm-hmm. over there. I was a silly goose way before this. Before it became a thing? Yeah. Yeah, you were just, always been a silly goose. been so silly. <laughs> and wishing you were a goose. Just out there being silly. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wish I was a goose. Since before you were a man. <sighs> yeah. I, that was a slipknot reference, kind of. Before I was a man. God. Before I forget. I, 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 before I am a <laughs> man. I was a goose before I could land. I... <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to jump on over? Just get the show rolling? Fuck yeah, dude. Get show 90 in motion? Uh, All right. Uh, Zach! Hey, shut up. Start the show already. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got, we got, we got. I don't know. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What you, what you got? What you got? Um. Okay, Joe. Mm-hmm. This is a would you rather found on the internet. Okay, internet stuff. Internet stuff. God, I love the uh, internet. It's... It's not dirty, it, it's nothing like that, but it makes you, it's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Oh, we, I think we can make it dirty, though. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather <laughs> Would fucking you? put a dick on your face? Would you rather put your dick in my butt, butt or my dick in your or butt? Or my butt on your dick. Yeah. And you're like, that's the same thing. <laughs> same thing. Either way, I'm going to come, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Okay, what is All it? right. Would you rather be in jail for five years? All right. Or be in a coma for a decade. Oh, this is about years of life mm-hmm. that you're putting aside. So if you're in a coma, like, yeah. I, you know when you go to sleep at night and you fall asleep and then you wake up, you're like, I feel like no time passed. Mm-hmm. But you would lose case, 10 years of your life. Isn't it funny that no matter how well you sleep, you always wake up and you're like, ah, fuck, I'm a little tired. Yeah. You'd wake up after a decade in a coma. It's not like you'd be rested. You want to go back to sleep? Yeah, You're like, exactly. I got too much sleep. You're like, shit, what do I got planned today? They're like, nothing. You got fired. Uh, so it works out because yeah. you've been in a coma for a decade. I might just go back to sleep. Like, okay, got, okay, what am I about the kids? You're like, kids are in college. Mm-hmm. Um, so don't have to worry about that. And you're like, shit, dude, I'm going to take a little nap. <laughs> a little nappy poo? <laughs> you say it like that? Give you a little couple Z's. Why catch a couple Z's? And it's your wife. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck, you mind if I lay down? Just, just close my eyes for a second? <laughs> you mind if I just close my eyes? I'm not gonna, I just want to close my eyes a little bit. Rest rest my eyes. Rest, rest my eyes, my eyes for a second? She goes, you've been sleeping for it's, 10 it's years. It's been 10 years. <laughs> it's been f- 84 years. It's, yeah, like you realize... <laughs> I put the kids in college and I've I did done, all this stuff. And kept you alive. Yeah. I've been working my ass off. And you're like, it must sounds exhausting. Yeah. Doesn't mean I'm not tired you too. Know what's you exhausting know? is <laughs> so, being a coma for 10 years. You know what's exhausting? It's the stress of being in a hospital for a decade. Is, you know what I mean? I'm so <sighs> tired. Oh my God, dude. And she, she would just, just divorce. She would just hand you the papers. Wake up. And the first thing you do is want to take a little nap. You poo. <laughs> a little nap. <laughs> catch a couple Z's. <laughs> so my grandpa used to say, is yeah. like, I'll take catch a couple Z's. A couple Z's. You wake me up when I'm out of Z's. <laughs> <laughs> when the Z's are all dried up. When I'm done catching them. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you put the Z's when you catch them? <laughs> I don't know. A little Z pocket? A little, a little Z net? <laughs> a little fanny pack of Z's? Yeah. Just, Going out there catching them? A Z-Pack. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like something it is. that exists. Yeah, it does. Z-Pack is for like when you have strep throat or... It's called a Z-Pack? Isn't it? Yeah. It's a Z-Pack. They gave you like some uh, anti... What does the Z stand for? Zippy. <laughs> <laughs> or put you to sleep, maybe? Probably some like little like Zappanora fan. Zippy pa- Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah something That's, like that. That has to be what it is. Yeah, give you a little Z-Pack. So... And it says jail. I mean, if you're from a like a... Prison. Let's call it prison. Okay. Let's up up to prison. It's like because you're, you're in hard. Be you're, in, you're going to like San Quentin. Is that yeah, a prison? San Quentin. It is nice. Yeah. I don't know my prison, so I'm glad. Walla that Walla. Pulled that one out. Not Walla. Walla Walla from here. No. Not our Walla Walla. Like a different. It's Walla. In, isn't Walla Walla in like Kansas or something? Isn't it like a? That's so, like the big one, right? So nice. They named it twice. I think we have a. I think the Walla Walla prison is the Washington one. I think that's the one. No, yeah, sorry, I Leavenworth. So. I meant Leavenworth, oh, yeah, not yeah. Walla Walla. Oh, yeah. okay. Leavenworth's the big prison that yeah. is somewhere else. So there's things there. There's a. There's gonna. There's gonna be an issue for you. Oh yeah, it's not gonna be a cakewalk. Up. Yeah, but it's only five years. <laughs> only. Oh my god. Yeah, our five Le- our years. Leavenworth is Oktoberfest, right? So yeah. 
Yeah, it's Kansas. <laughs> That's the one I was I was thinking of. Was it's Leavenworth is in Kansas. Okay. That's okay. what I was thinking. So not great. Some sort of, I mean, I'm not sure if it's maximum security, but whatever the rating system for prisons is, like, it's not going to be a good time. Well, like, you go and, like, people, oh, remember where are going? Just remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I. people, yeah, you're, you're going to be a new fish. fish. Yeah. New fish in the you're sea. You walk in there, like, mm-hmm. God, I tell you what, you'll be able to fish a, or, <laughs> what? You'll be able to fit a trap. You get a good look at a butcher. <laughs> you'll fit a trap in my asshole, you know what I mean? Mm. When I'm done in prison. I'm not a fighter. Just fucking have at it. It's only five years. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to come. Better than being in be. coma for 10 years. I have to wear what? This dress? But I'm still alive? All right. Have fun. Have fun back there. Would I'm you still... want to be alive, though, if you're just getting fucked? Pounded all the time. <laughs> Federal pound me in the ass prison. It's from. <laughs> Is that in Oklahoma? <laughs> That's the name of it? <laughs> We got good news. Like, we approve your transfer. The bad news, you're going to federal <laughs> ass pounding in Oklahoma. You're like, oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Not that. I would hate oh, that. that's going to suck. <laughs> that's going to be terrible. Cuff me. <laughs> yeah. Where's the bus? <laughs> uh, yeah, so prison is scary. I'm, I'm, I mean, I could fight. I guess you could switch your brain off to be like a like a tough guy, right? For five years, and and hold up. You don't think so? No, I couldn't be a. tough You couldn't guy. flip for a little bit. Nah. Oh. Because if I'm a tough guy, there's a tougher guy out there <laughs> that's gonna beat my ass. This is going back to last episode. Yeah, you're gonna die, dude. I'm, you are the worst dick sucker. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna be, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna be the guy that's like holding the guy's pocket. Isn't yeah, that? Yeah, but you're also gonna get killed because you suck at sucking dick. If you're in prison, though, like... You better learn how to suck dick. No, no. If you're in prison, like, aren't you just going to take a dick sucking? Are you gonna really going to be like, dude, you're not very good at this? Like... <laughs> dude, yeah. They have, they have like, uh, uh, what am I trying? Standards? They got standards Do as they? well. They have to. Like, well, then I'm going to be the, the best dick the, sucker. The guy in the next stall the can suck a dick better than Brian? You've explained your dick sucking capabilities. And it sounds like a nightmare. Is Kansas on this side of the Mississippi? <laughs> I'm the best dick sucker this side of the Mississippi. This side of the Mississippi. Yeah, maybe. No, you're not. There's, there's, there's... I see teeth. I feel like teeth guy is him. He's teeth guy. He's, no, he's he's just the tip, and he's hoping that you just forget that he's using his hand the whole time and <laughs> not really putting his heart into it. No you're teeth. gonna you're gonna die. You're gonna die. But that is a real thing. So going into a coma, knowing you're gonna wake up in a, in a decade, right? Like, at least you're alive. You're going to have some astrophy. Like, you're just going to fucking be no muscles. Atrophy? Yeah, that's not what I said. You said astrophy. Uh, you're going to get astrophy from prison, I think. So, <laughs> you're going to get, you're gonna get, you're so gonna get gonorrhea, it. and your muscles aren't going to work. Right. <laughs> uh, it, but, so, I mean, coma, at least you know you're going to wake up. Well, your, ass, your asshole will bounce back, though, like you said. We've learned so, that, yeah. 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 That's going to come back to you. And, I mean, pretty quick. How do you get out of prison? Like, your ass will be like, I remember what just to do. pucker right back up. I know my job. And just hold your shit in. Yeah. But for five, but for five years, no. <laughs> your, your asshole's job is accepting penises. I think for the sake of making this a, a difficult decision, mm-hmm. we should change it. Not necessarily a decade, but it's like, you're, let's say maybe you have little kids. Like, mm-hmm. you have a, yeah. you know, a couple of babies. And when you wake up, yeah, they're you're, grown. You're missing 10 years of life. Right? You're missing all the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, all this... Yeah, I would. I would if I get to pick a decade and miss like maybe the teenage years where there are a bunch of assholes, <clears throat> and I pop back in, I get sympathy points once I wake up. So they've, you've got, you got them as little kids. You raised them. You gave them the right morals and yeah. a, like some sort of compass. You weren't there during some pretty critical years, but you hope they make it through. Well, maybe your and kids the, in prison now. Now on the back end, you just show up and you're like, shit, man, you already, you already know how to play baseball. Mm. Uh. <laughs> That's all you have? <laughs> You're like, all right, I'm up. I got my legs working again. Let's go learn how to play baseball. He goes, I'm already got a full ride done. Yeah. You're like, going no. to Oregon State. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, shit. <laughs> well, <clears throat> guess I'm going to go take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Get some Z's, I guess. <laughs> you go catch a fly ball, catch, catch a couple a fly, Z's. I'll catch a couple Z's and <laughs> we'll try this again in 10 years. I love how that's your response to, to everything. <laughs> it's like, uh, well, I got to go to school. All, All right. right, well, I guess I'll go catch a couple Z's. Just <laughs> take a little Z's, nappy poo. I'll pick you up. <laughs> pick you up after I uh, pocket a couple Z's. 
Uh, but because you could really die in prison. That's a real thing. But yeah. the experience of that, you come out, you'll be a different person. You just skip all of it. Not if sure you, for the better, though. I'm sure, I, that depends on a mentality. How many, how many people get out of prison and then stay out and uh, don't go back in? I think in? more than go back in. You think so? I think so. I don't know the statistics again, like we talked about last. I maybe, don't know maybe exactly. Maybe we need Zach to... Recidivism is really pretty high, I think, for people who go to prison. But there's got to be a good... You and your big but that words. was also, they were bad on the... I mean, things were not going well on the way in. I think, yeah. I think I should what, clarify. Yeah, yeah. I have no fucking idea. How about that? Okay, that's good. Yeah. But like, if you went in for something that was like like tax fraud, mm. right? Not doing that again. You're shit. coming out. You're not you're, robbing banks now. Yeah, right. and you're not killing people and raping people now. Yeah. So you're going to you go might, in. though, just to survive. <laughs> You never know, dude. Prison's fucking hard. Yeah, but prison's prison, man. Like rape, scrape a little, kill a little, whatever. You get out in five years, no matter what you do. Apparently, you don't get extended time for raping and killing in prison. <laughs> no, you just, you just, you just get through your five years. Get through your five. Well, you're not doing the raping. You're the one. Let's be honest. If you're going into prison, and if you're like, there's if, no way I'm the smallest guy in prison. <laughs> No, I but, can get a couple uh, rapes in. <laughs> so here, I want you to, I want you to think about this. You think I couldn't kill a couple people? So, <laughs> oh yeah, you could. If you, so here's the thing: you, the way you are now. Let's say you go into prison. Are you just gonna start killing people? I don't want to. He but if I have to to survive, he would sneak in a, a knife, probably. <laughs> well, right, I'd get caught. Obviously, uh, right. yeah, he's not, not very good, good at, at sneaking it. anything. Uh, but like, so <laughs> I get caught trying to sneak lube in, <laughs> in a cake. If I'm going to get fucked, I, it's going to be at it's, least it's a full bottle of lube life in my asshole. <laughs> and they catch me. <laughs> They're like, sir, what's this? And I'm like, ah, yeah, you caught me. Now I got to raw dog it. What's this behind the lube life? Ah, you got me. It's a switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, he like pulled it up. Wait, there's something else back here. <laughs> or inside the lube life container is a switchblade. switchblade inside the lube life. <laughs> God, you guys really tighten things up around here. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. This is literally a 40 ounce jar of lube life with a switchblade in it. <laughs> it would be hard to miss. Yeah, okay. okay. That's I I'm trying to visualize. Come on, do me a solid. Yeah, that's a good pun. <laughs> do me a solid. Yeah, do me a solid. Let me bring this in. <laughs> it's gonna be a terrible five years. I just want the first couple. Just let months, me get through this. Just let me let me just loosen things up. I love the idea that that visual of of a, a bottle of lube with a switchblade in it, though. <laughs> yeah. Like trying to conceal, <laughs> trying to conceal a switchblade, but it, doing it in a bottle of lube is so funny to me. And it being up your ass. Yeah, which is where the lube's going anyway. Yeah. I mean, just for just because the the practical jokester I am, yeah, that would be funny. Put hiding lube in your butt, knowing they're gonna find it, mm-hmm. is really funny. And he's like, <laughs> and yeah, everyone had, in there, and everyone had a good laugh, <laughs> and then you went in, he's got your fucking ass kicked. Yeah, but at least you got everyone to laugh one last time, and they'll talk about it forever. Maybe some podcast, maybe a news story will be written about it. <laughs> you get to make everyone laugh one last time before you go in and just get fucking railed. That would be, if you got to come out and like start a podcast, like that's the whole, like what my five years mm-hmm. was like in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think I would do well in prison. We know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, if, like you're I fucking hard. I wouldn't do well. well yeah. I mean, I am. What about you, Zach? You think you do well in prison? If I could be in solitary confinement, no, I'd prefer no. that. Yeah. No, no, that but sounds... No. I'm, a, I'm an only child. I live in solitary confinement, so I'm good with that. <clears throat> no, th- we're not in solitary. You're, you're in you're gonna have to be federal be ass pound prison. Be forced to, char- or to join a gang. <clears throat> you're going to have to do the whole thing. Think... And you're a big dude. People are going to walk in there and go, oh, look at this fucking guy. Oh, we awesome. got to knock him down a couple times. I can't wait to fuck that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fight that. I'm going to fight that pretty good. Yeah. I'd rather have a coma. I think I'd rather do the 10-year coma thing. 10 years is a long time. Well, I, I still think maybe it should be like 15. Um, Cause I'm like, you lose a huge chunk of your life, but you don't even know it. And, but I'm you thinking, wake up and you know it, but, but you're alive and you can, you'll meet people and who the, I mean, who knows? I'm taking five years in jail, prison, whatever. I'm taking that 10 years. It's just like you get out. That's five years is a long time to experience life. And you're still experiencing life in prison. Not great. I don't know if I want to experience that. But you're going to learn a lot about yourself and what you can do by just sleeping for five years. I see. I don't. <laughs> you wake don't... up and you're like, I had a crazy dream. You wake <laughs> up sad. 
And your wife's like, hi. Oh, my God, he's awake. And you're like, I had a bad dream about you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because if you're not going to believe this, remember Tom from work? Yeah, you guys, you guys were having an affair, dude. Tom died seven years ago, <laughs> cancer. Just some weird ass dream. She's like, "What are you doing?" That's a funny thing to think about. Like, if you're so, if you sleep, like last night, let's say you slept for eight hours. Sometimes, oh, if I you're like, if you're yeah, if you're uh, if you if you go to sleep, wake up, wait. Sometimes you have two different dreams, three different dreams. Sometimes just one dream. Uh, but if you're in a coma for 10 years, like, are you having multiple dreams? 10 years worth of dreams? Because you're not waking up. Give me up. a clipboard! Yeah, you're <laughs> not waking up to, like, start a new dream. So is it just one fucking dream? You're in a coma for 10 years, you spend the next five in your diary right now with dreams you had? Just like that'd weird be crazy. Shit. Nah, I bet you it doesn't work that way. But that'd be cool if it did. I mean, I forget dreams the second I wake up. The, your brain's got to get speed. Sometimes I remember, I'm like, whoa, Dude. that was crazy. And just a quick pause to talk about how weird comas are. Can we just land waking up from a coma is so weird. What a weird thing that can actually happen. Yeah. That's fucking, that just is. It's like time traveling. It's just, cr- I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. No, you go to sleep at 20 and you wake up at 30. That is fucked. And everything, like you think about now, how much has changed in social media and internet, all that stuff. Let's say that you missed out on that 10 year. Like imagine, I always think about like, like think about like Kurt Cobain. I was thinking like artists Mm -hmm. who were young in the nineties and thinking about like if Kurt Cobain was in a coma, he blew, tried to blow his head off, didn't work. He's in coma. And then he like miraculously wakes up now. Like what's he thinking? Dude, got to release a new album. That's what I was going to (laughs) say. We're not charting. Never, you see, never but mind. You, like too. you see, Dave Grohl. You know, like you see the you, you see the, the 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 fame that Dave Grohl has in the in Foo Fighters and all that. He gets mad at Dave Grohl. He's like, "You started another band without yeah. me." Yeah, it's like you cheated on me with. Like, <laughs> oh, you started dating somebody yourself. else. You've been sleeping for twenty years. Dude, you ate a shotgun. <laughs> you ate I, a shotgun. I have no idea how you're here. <laughs> you shouldn't be here right now. All right. So what's your pick? I'm picking jail just because I'm alive and I get to experience <clears> life. Rather than be in a coma and just laying in a hospital bed, which also sounds expensive. I, I really think it depends on uh, what your perspective of the world. Because if I think about like that happened now and I missed 10 years of my kids' mm-hmm. life, like how horrible that would be. Even with five, missing five years, but like if they could come visit you and you'd still see them. But if you just missed out on 10 years of their life. Yeah. Oh. Even though I hate the idea of going to prison... You love the idea of sucking dick? <laughs> or like the idea of at least trying to get good at it. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Yeah. It's good to That's have what my dad always said. I think I think I could get good at it. <laughs> you know what the number one rule in prison is? Bigger the ponytail, bigger the problem. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We've learned that one. Yes, we have. All right, so prison, prison. I, what are you doing, Zach? You guys have kind of talked me into prison. Prison? Yeah. All right, let's and, go to prison. I, I do my best to get into solitary confinement, though. I'd probably shank one of you. <laughs> Wait. Sorry. I'm going to Walla Walla, baby. Yeah. Uh, mm. Okay, let's just do some prison stuff. All that right. sounds good. All right, let's move on to what are you thinking about? Zach! Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Uh, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? This just happened today. <laughs> today. Today. Joe today Mi- is going to be the day. <laughs> going to get back to you. I was flying home from beautiful <laughs> Seattle, Washington. Mm, got, got in just before it recorded. Also, by the way, happy we're recording us on, on Leap Day. Who knows if we'll ever this do that again? Day? Yeah, today's Leap Day. Woo. Happy 29th it was my dad's oh. birthday yesterday. He's dead. Remember that? Mm. Yeah. So uh, how old was he? Because he, he, he would have been 70. No, no, no. Uh, it was because yesterday. of leap. No, yes. No. How does that work? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so how does it, like, if you're born on February 29th. Well, then they get to joke about being, I'm, I'm fucking I'm eight like, years old. Yeah, eight yeah. years old. Yeah. That's just their. Are that's, you a minor then? That's their whole thing. So you could go out and just rape people and be like, oh, dude, sorry. Well, I don't know. I'm only eight. <laughs> No, it's Some, not. like, 60-year-old guy. God, just... Uh, anyway, so flying home from Seattle today. And beautiful! I'm, beautiful. And then flying home, I just kind of was 
thinking about this and I didn't know what to do. I I had the best intentions, but I also just, I was like, this is kind of weird. Like, what do I do? So I, I get my seat and I sit down and I'm have the window seat and I'm sitting next to this, this kid who's like a teenager. I mean, he, he could have been like a giant fucking 11 year old. Mm. He just had that. Type you never of, know that type of look to him. Mm-hmm. Just a big ass kid. Um, if I had to guess just based off of size, I would say he's probably 14, 15, right? Just meet in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And um, <laughs> so I had to guess he was 46 years old. Because <laughs> he was born on a leap year. Yeah. And uh, he had an or, iP- he had his iPad out and he's playing Minecraft. So I got the window sh- seats. So you have to do that first awkward, like you're walking down and then you see the seat and there's already two people sitting yeah. there. And I go, <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Oh my God. It's me over here. This, and they're this like, is me. and they just oh, stand up and out. shuffle out of the way. And I get in and then they sit back down. And this was like before we even took off and I'm, you know, the kid sitting next to me, his iPad out and, he, and I'm just kind of sitting there and my back hurts a little bit and I'm not really sure like what's going on. I'm like, why am I leaning to the right? And then I realized this fucking kid with his iPad has his elbows out and he's resting them mm. and they're probably, they're four or five inches over the armrest into my seat. Yeah. You're, he's in your space. He's now. in my space. He's not. We're not splitting the armrest. It's not just elbows touching on the armrest. Like he is fully expanded and his arm is just into my... He doesn't know you're there. Yeah, exactly. In I, his world, no, you're he, not there. No, he is in Minecraft, him and Steve and, and Alex, whatever the yeah. fuck they're called in Minecraft world, the zombie things. Dude, he's he's in the Ender right now. <laughs> yeah. Or the... Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, the, nether, the nether, the nether. He's nether. fighting off Ender okay. dragons and shit. So he's in, uh, he's in Minecraft <clears throat> world, and his elbow is it, just sticking into my side. And I'm on my phone, <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and he's just, he's not a like he's not just like pushing some buttons, like he's rotating his iPad and he's tapping buttons up and down. So his elbow is wiggling into my rib cage, mm. like I can feel it digging in. No, not bad, but it's mm. just enough. Like I mean, he's so far over, yeah. so my arm is up like this. And I'm holding my phone, leaning against the window, and his elbow is just <laughs> rubbing into my ribs. Right? But I'm like, being a dad, mm. and then also not being like some Combative, asshole. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, oh, man, like, how am I going to deal with this? And it got me thinking about, uh, would I kill a kid? No, it got me <laughs> thinking about, like, do I say something to this kid? Right? Do I real, I... real quick, was he with anybody or was it no, just he was just flying just by himself? Flying by himself. Okay. So he's old enough to do that. So he might, I guess that resets things. So he has to be 13 or older to fly by himself. But he has like a Batman backpack. Mm-hmm. And the, the guy next to him is catching some Z's. <laughs> <laughs> he was catching Z's before I asked is him to get up. Nappy poo? Yeah. yeah, before oh, I yeah. asked him to get up. But he was, the people that sleep before the plane takes he off? Was, he was sad. Dude, fucking relax. We don't know what he was doing. He could have had a great night before and he's yeah, like i'll just true. catch some z's when i sit down but he was he was z's this guy was minecraft and i'm in the window and i was thinking i was like do i do i talk to him because that's how kids learn right yeah like he's doing fully he's got a whole landscape of gaming set out with elbows and the guy sleeping has his arms crossed and he's oh, lay, yeah. and he's laying back so the elbow on the left side like that's a that's free range. Mm-hmm. Like he's not poking anybody's ribs, but you got me sitting, and I'm not. I'm not. I got my arms crossed. I want to put my fucking arms down and use my phone. <laughs> so it's he's just stabbing me, and I thought, do I tell him because everybody moving forward benefits when they have to sit next to this fucking kid? Mm-hmm. Because if I say something like, hey, you know, your elbow is your elbow is four feet past where it's supposed to be. Just go ahead and dial that thing back and keep it out of my rib cage. That'd be great. And just he'd be like, oh, because he wasn't like he didn't look he was mean. And he would understand and be like, oh, sorry. And he would move it back. And I just had to sit there and my arm was up. You know, as I was thinking about this, I was like, no, I'm just going to put my arm down. So I just laid my arm down <laughs> in a normal position and I'm just resting my arm on top of this kid's arm. <laughs> and it's bouncing around because he won't stop moving his fucking game. <laughs> I'm sitting You're like, there, when's he gonna notice? And I was like, say something. I was like, just tell him. I was like, hey, you gotta fucking get your elbow out of here, dude. <laughs> but I just laid there, and I was, it was just light pressure as I used my phone. And I was actually texting Cassie about it. I was like, this fucking kid. And I like tilted the phone up, and I want. I was trying to get a picture, but mm. I couldn't do it. 
but like it was so far you over. You should have just been like, like leaned over and took a picture and like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sending this to my girlfriend <laughs> to say how or fucking. Did, I, I FaceTime her and I'm like, this kid's fucking elbow <laughs> is in my arm, dude. Check this out. And he's just like, what? <laughs> But uh, so I, I I I just opted for laying my arm on top of his arm, and then I just started pushing a little harder on his arm. I just kept on like leaning back a little farther and farther until I was like squishing his arm <laughs> into my rib cage, like just to fuck up his gaming. Mm-hmm. And eventually he was like, oh, now, yeah. you, "Now you're the asshole." Yeah, and he and he moved it away. He he, went, he moved it out, and the second he did, I was like. I set up steak. Ah, uh, yeah. I was like, okay, I'm taking what yeah. you would normally take on right. an armrest. And I was like, bah, okay, elbows are in. And I just couldn't move them the rest of the time. I don't want to risk him, like, you know, playing the game of risk and retaking mm-hmm. the arm. So I guess, like, locked him in and used my phone the whole time. But that did get me thinking about, like, talking to children about things you know are wrong, <clears throat> but they're not your kids. Mm-hmm. Where is that line? Mm-hmm. Like, what do you do? Like, if you see some kid do some fucked up shit... And it's just such a risky game because parents fucking suck. Not my baby. Yeah they're, yeah, they're like, who's who are you to tell my? It's like your kid was throwing rocks at this other kid off a bridge. Yeah, so <laughs> fuck your kid. Yeah, your kid doesn't get to do that. And it goes back to that old saying of like, it takes a village to raise a kid. Like that's, I mean, that is true, yeah, or it should be more true. Like, not just your perspective, but don't be a fucking clown. In this situation, it wasn't life or death. He wasn't throwing rocks, but, like, he was just digging his elbows into my ribcage while playing Minecraft. He did, and there's no way. Kids are so stupid. He had no idea. No. He had no idea he was doing. He just rub, rubbing his elbows into a stranger's ribcage. And, you know, he was just like, I don't know. I got to mine some more gold. Mm-hmm. And that's all he was thinking about. I, I definitely love when parents... Um, are they're they're open to you educating their kids like what being uh coaching my my son's baseball team i definitely appreciate the parents that are just like at practice he's Mm -hmm. yours you know if you need to put him in line or whatever right it's like and if you don't feel as bad saying something to like all right knock that off or whatever your dad said (laughs) yeah your dad said i can call you a piece of shit yeah right i can do whatever i want so it's very helpful yeah yeah and uh, there's there's some parents that are just like they're like that they're like whatever you gotta do man like whatever yeah Yeah, and then there are some parents that are just like that is my boy Mm -hmm. i don't want him you talking to him like that and it's like, well, then you say something because they play sports because mm-hmm. that's how coaches work. Yeah. I, I, when you're when your kids acting up and like I'm I having to keep say something, just chime in and say, listen to coach mm-hmm. or whatever. You know, like I would hope that their the parents uh, like on an airplane would do that. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, Kate, maybe dial yeah. it back a little bit because you see that that's how I am though. Like I observe things and my, my brain ran through the whole history i was like maybe it's his first time flying mm-hmm. maybe he's just growing he doesn't really know how big his wingspan is when he's playing a fucking ipad and i ran through all of that just being a dad yeah but i, I again like i didn't know where the line was luckily it's a short flight because yeah. that would oh i would I, I, I think that played into it too i was mm-hmm. like dude if i was flying i don't to, have to put up with this for 20 more minutes if i was like flying to fucking austin or something right now mm-hmm. i definitely would have been like hey dude you got to move your elbow your elbow is way over. It's in. It's you are you are sixty five dollars into my space. Yeah, like you gotta. You gotta it depends get that out too, of here. though. If it's you versus like your family or something, like if you're if that kid's doing that and he's let's say he's bothering Pepper or something like that, mm-hmm. you're probably more likely to, to be like knock it off or like Pepper tell him. You know, mm-hmm. like I got your back. Mm-hmm. Tell him. Mm-hmm. You know, like you you can I can put up with a lot more than I can put up. When it's happening to my family, mm-hmm. does that make sense? No, oh, a- absolutely. Because I know that feeling and just like, oh, just let this kid have it. And so he, it's going to happen again. And that was my ultimate thing. I was like, just do it, like a little aggressive action. I wasn't like sticking my elbow into him. I was like, dude, this is, you got to give me the armrest back, bud. Uh, but I get someone else, I guess, will tell him to just keep your fucking elbows in. Um <sighs> It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't life-threatening. Like, if he was being a complete fucking asshole, like, I, I would have probably said something, I guess, and be like, dude, what are you, like, you can't, like, what are you doing? Some people just don't, they don't realize they're doing that. And, and, he, all d- it, and he didn't. He all it takes is like, dude, hey, 
can you just a little bit? And yeah. they're like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, and like I, I'm sure that's what it would have been, but he would have remembered it probably forever. Yeah. So I guess someone Maybe else. Maybe you should have though. With some actual balls. Is going to tell that kid to keep your elbows in. So, you know, the, the route that I usually, hmm. not usually, that maybe I would take would be like, hey, I just want to, just want to let you know. I'm um, calling the cops? Yeah. <laughs> you, we're gonna, the plane's going to turn around. Well, he you turned around. He's, he's like, oh my God, why? Because your fucking elbow is halfway into my seat. <laughs> he's like, what? I was like, take your elbow out here or they're going to turn the plane around. Mm-hmm. The Sky Marshal has been notified. Also, Santa's not real. He's like, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Now you're the asshole. And everyone's <laughs> like, get this guy off the plane. No, but it's like you be like, hey, I just want you to know, like, um, it's you know, I I can handle it. I have little kids, mm-hmm. I get it. But you might next time you might sit next to someone who gets really upset and you know, just like for whatever I'm t- like I want him to knock it off, but I'm trying to use it as like a <laughs> I lever- don't mind. Yeah. Listen, I don't mind Listen. that you're digging your elbow yeah, in my it does, cage, It's not bothering me. But the next guy might slit your throat with the switchblade. Right. Yeah, maybe he. Maybe the next guy gets his switchblade. He he sneaks it on. Maybe the next guy just covers you in lube. And he's like, "What? <laughs> Look, I don't know how he got it in here, but maybe what if he got lucky? Like maybe it was in his butt or maybe, something. Maybe he got both things on here. Got a bottle of lube and a switchblade. <laughs> and if you're rubbing your elbow into his rib cage, he might kill you and fuck your throat. Yeah. And he's like, "What? You're like what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you just go <laughs> pop your pop your lube covered switchblade out. <laughs> It, and it's just dripping loose. It just squirts into the <laughs> into the ceiling. Move your elbow. <laughs> She's like, Jesus, guy. Moral of the story is move your move, fucking elbow. Move your fucking elbow. Minecraft's not that cool. We yeah, we uh <laughs> Minecraft was cool twenty years ago. Put your fucking iPad away. You're starting to get into that. Once you get in that range, you're you're getting like, all right, you sh- you need to be a little bit more self aware. Mm-hmm. So maybe educating him would have yeah. been a good idea. Yeah. In a nice way. Yeah. And if he doesn't do it, then you can be a dick, but yeah. And eventually you'll just learn. You don't want to just like dig your elbow into random strangers. Dude, every time I get you on don't a plane, like that touch. Like you just, you, but you, you play this game where it's like you have like the corner of your elbow That's all you get. touching. Mm-hmm. So you're not, and then, and then some people are just like, they just keep it off because they, that's just the way they are. So you get to kind of use it. Mm-hmm. But I would, I can't even imagine. Like the lady, Lee. I don't even know if I told the story. The lady that, Hurt her ankle and it was basically laying on my shoulder mm-hmm. with her foot up on her husband's lap. <laughs> yeah. I was, what is going on here? You can't just do this. She's, she was turned. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting this way. She was turned this way, leaning over onto, onto my shoulder. I'm hurt. <laughs> and <What>? icing her ankle. <laughs> Did you know they were swingers? <laughs> All right. They were testing you. Yeah. They're just like, you like, uh, you know what an upside down pineapple look means? And you're like, no, get your fucking, get off me. <laughs> I, the, I wouldn't have partaken with this couple. <laughs> I bet. All right, let's move on to some dick. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Let's, really, let's really ingest this thing. Our deal. Yeah. Hey, fucking Zach! Is it dumb? Is it interesting? Is it cool? Then it's dick. All right, Bright Guy, do you want to take the first one or the second one today? <sighs> I'll do the first one. Mm-hmm. Do it. I'm just grabbing some water. I'm grabbing some water out of my water bar. Did you have you? Did you see the new Willy Wonka movie? No. Um, As, Ezra did. I I didn't. So I didn't see the one with uh, Johnny Depp. Okay, the, just so we're clear, the the um, just so you're clear. I hate Johnny Depp. Yeah, he's fucking sucks, dude. I'm more <laughs> of a uh, uh, Gene Richard Wilder? Grieco oh. kind of guy. Gotcha. No, uh, G- the Gene Wilder one's one of my favorite movies of all time, and it just always will be. And it, nothing will come close to that as far as Willy Wonka. And okay. I'm, I'm gonna die on that hill. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't see that, but I did see the new one because uh, we took the kids to it. Yeah, um, it was interesting. Fine. It wasn't Wonka. It wasn't. He was too happy. It's probably kind of like the the same thoughts I had on the one with Johnny Depp. It's just like, just find more actors. Why are we doing CG? Why are we doing CGI on everything? Yeah. Just no. It's more about Willy Wonka in the old movie. He's like, am I gonna live? Mm. Am I gonna die at this place? In this other one, and yeah, he was too happy. Okay. Anyway, doesn't matter for this. Okay. But it's um, Willy Wonka is prevalent in society. Yes. Still, yeah, and um, <laughs> some people want to experience what that might be like 
to be in like a Willy Wonka's factory. Yeah, I have fantasies of going out there in Willy Wonka's fantasy as a kid, mm-hmm. or fantasy is his factory as a kid. Yeah, so good. And people still have that, and so they like to <laughs> places like to put that out there for you to come experience what that might be like. What a weird sentence for me to mess up. Dude, I'd love to experience Willy Wonka's fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> it's my factory to be a, in God, a fantasy. Of... Just fucking getting eaten out by Willy Wonka. And he's like, snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> 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 he's walking over to the bed, does the fucking fake little hobble cartwheel thing. <laughs> and he starts <laughs> licking your puss. <laughs> he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> does, and then he just like stands up and does like the ta da, and he starts eating and, you out. And, and like, snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> okay, anyway, all right, go. Well, that might be a better experience than then what these people got. Okay, all right. So inside the disaster, bad Glasgow Willy Wonka experience that had kids in <laughs> tears. Okay, is what we're talking about. God. Um, sold as a celebration of chocolate and all its forms, things soon turn nightmarish. Okay. All right. Glasgow-based event has gone viral after it was sold as an immersive Willy Wonka experience, ended in disaster, crying children, and police <laughs> called to investigate what went down. <laughs> Willy, Willy's chocolate experience. So- that, so- that sounds like a way to get around any yeah. sort of copyright infringement. <laughs> right. Willy's chocolate experience. <laughs> he spells Willy's like all weird. <laughs> <laughs> Willie's Chocolata Experienzo Ex- uh, Extraordinaire <laughs> Willie, Willie's Chocolate Not a Factory Experience <laughs> You're like, I'll pay for this Will he get chocolate or not? <laughs> Alright, Willie uh, saw parents paying hundreds To give their children what was promised to be A celebration of chocolate In all its forms <laughs> Is this a porn? <laughs> but, Instead, they got haggis. <laughs> but ended up being canceled halfway through as kids were in tears and the general shit show of it seeing the experience go viral across social media. Oh my God, this is so funny. Uh, <laughs> Willie's Chocolate Experience was organized by House of Illum- Illuminati mm. and they promised a land full of huge mushrooms and candy inspired by the Timothy Chalamet film released in 2023. But instead, families paid 35 pounds a ticket and showed up in the uh, industrial area of Glasgow (laughs) to a shoddily decorated warehouse and disaster quickly reached fever pitch. Uh An actor involved, Paul Paul, uh, Connell, said, my heart sank looking around. (laughs) Just felt sad because I was aware of how many kids were going to be coming through. We were told to hand the kids a couple of (laughs) jelly beans and a quarter cup of lemonade at the end. (laughs) Thanks for coming. <laughs> Some jelly beans. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. This tweet that I sent out, it said, the dude cast to play Willy Wonka in the Glasgow clusterfuck has spoken out on TikTok. <laughs> Script was, quote, 15 pages of AI generated gibberish. First red flag was them casting me as Wonka. <laughs> 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 Do you Chil- want to play it? It says it- children were given one jelly bean <laughs> and a quarter cup of Tesco's own branded lemonade. Look at this guy; looks nothing like Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's it looks like, like some. Yeah, it looks like me. It looks like some ginger beard guy. If if that jelly bean was like an everlasting gobstopper, <laughs> that'd be then cool. that'd be okay. But mm-hmm. one jelly bean? <laughs> Holy shit! This All picture. Right. <laughs> yeah. Zach, bring up my computer. <laughs> for the ones that are just listening like it looks like it's trying to put together some sort of scientific machine and you have she's not she doesn't want to be there no she I mean, looks yeah, like she's just got off a bender like you can i mean a clip could catch somebody in a bad moment but i'm telling you right now this whole situation is a bad moment yeah like you're just grabbing you're like, huh? You go to Amazon. You're like, test tube, <laughs> test tube setup. But no, even you, even that though, do you have the picture pulled up with the, the zoomed out where you see like the what the they whole said? area? No, uh, the, no, no, no. That's that's all we get. Oh, but was, people said that we have to vote this for image of the year. No, there was. I, where is it? I saw. I don't know, but there's so many. Yeah, here the reality. It looks like. It looks like if somebody, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> if somebody decorated their own house for like a haunted house, yeah, 
and then like this would be acceptable. <laughs> it's just fabric, like tablecloth backgrounds of stripes and weird looking shit. <laughs> and they were just like, this is going to be great. And then the cries of children. And did you, so th- there's this part in the story about this guy that was wearing a silver mask and holding up a mirror and like yelling at kids. <laughs> and he has nothing to do with Willy Wonka. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. And he just was scaring people as they walked in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it sounds like a, uh, uh, oh, you, oh, wait, fuck. Like a haunted house? Yeah, haunted house. So, like, the house of Illuminati, the, the main guy for that, like, he apologized profusely for this, like, how big of a shit show this thing was, right? And then in an interview, he, oh my God. Like, what are you? Perfect. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, like, look at the mirror, like, leaning on the uh-huh, side. Uh-huh. Mirrors leaning up, like, this is going to be great. <laughs> this will make your money worth it. And he apologized for it. He said something. He's like, the holographic paper didn't show up in time. <laughs> and it's like, dude, it wasn't the shiny paper. It wasn't the shiny uh-huh. paper that ruined your event. It was all of it that ruined the event. Here, let me play this really quick. Okay. What is that? It's the end Oh, of- yeah. No. It's a scary guy, dude. <laughs> what is that? It's the end of... No. It's the end of... <laughs> what? Look at the... That's, that's the guy that playing Willy Wonka, right? Yeah, I'm Willy. sure. What is that? It's the end of... It looks like a dude in a scream mask, oh kind my of like God. it's like, like a scary ass Halloween mask. He's he's coming out from behind a standing mirror, dude. Like a dude I, from Ghost. I would have been laughing. <laughs> I mean, I would have been asking for a refund, but I also would have been laughing so hard if I was at that event, just walking in and being like, "What the fuck? Where am I?" Because you had this expectation, right? It's mm-hmm. like it's going to be this magical fantasy Winter land. wonderland. Yeah, and you sh- it's like showing up to a prom. Where the prom committee was your best friends. Yeah. And you're like, this is not going to be well. This is not going to do well. <laughs> it's like, you're just proud they put something on PVC pipe and hung it. Yeah. And you're like, you guys did a really good job. You're like, throw back to the 80s. And the <laughs> it's like, and, and the entrance way is like, they have one thing that looks like a bowling alley, like <laughs> staple to the wall. And you guys, you guys killed it. <laughs> like, that's what this but looks like. Th- here's the thing. Hmm. If it's for adults or something, sure. But kids have different expectations. Like I think the other way around. If it was just kids walking through there, they'd probably be like, this is fucking pretty cool. But kids walk in and they're, I mean, and parents go there with the kids. And like, we were promised for like, what, 35, what's so a 45 bucks ish American dollars? Like, we were promised an experience to make memories with our kids. Mm-hmm. And you walk into that. <laughs> and you're just like, what? There will be memories. Like, it's so bad the police got called. <laughs> you know how bad your event has to be where there's not a fight? And then to get canceled. Too. Yeah, and have to refund everybody. Like, they refund 850 people. It's That's the one jelly bean I think they must have done. That was it. Like, on the back end of this, if we get a handful of jelly beans, I won't well, ask for a refund. But you you're, one you're bag? like, you're expected to get candy, right? Like, if, if anything, let's say. <laughs> I'm the, expecting a lot if I'm going say, to Willy Wonka, Willy's chocolate experience. Right. Yeah. Let's say even the designs and all that kind of stuff sucks. Mm-hmm. But if you leave with, like, a giant pail of candy, if you're a kid, <laughs> you're probably like, okay, that's okay. Right. We're, but worth you it. get they you walk out of there that say thanks for coming and hand you a jelly bean and some lemonade. It's in the name. <laughs> Not chocolate. even chocolate, yeah. Yeah, chocolate factory and you get a jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well give him an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Willie's apple factory. <laughs> Willie's apple orchard. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Oh, it looks like shit. It's hard to explain how terrible this thing is. So if you are interested, just look up Willy just Wonka. Just Google cl- it. Look up Willy Wonka Clusterfuck. I'm sure it's going to show up on mm-hmm. all your favorite fucking streaming platforms. <laughs> all right, let's move on to our next dick. This was so funny oh. to me. So this mom loses $820,000 injury claim after she was pictured tossing a Christmas tree. I saw oh this God. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Oh, my God. 
That's so much money to lose, but you're not going to miss your fucking small town's annual Christmas tree toss. <laughs> small you towns, do, you man. Have to, you have to defend your st- fucking title? Yeah. And you're like, I'll risk it all. <sighs> they were coming for it. So, I mean, just in typical news fashion, her case was felled by a Christmas tree throwing competition. Ew. A court in Ireland dismissed a mother's eighty-two thousand dollar insurance claim. Eight hundred twenty thousand. What did I say? Eighty-two thousand. Oh, that's sorry. Big yeah, yeah, sorry. Eight hundred twenty. I think I got it right the first time. That's cool. Yeah. So Camilla Grabska, thirty-six, had claimed that a car accident back in twenty seventeen left her with debilitating pain, leaving her unable to lift heavy things, bags. Uh, like heavy bags and keeping her in bed on bad days, according to his closures made in Ireland's high court and reported by the, by the Irish <clears throat> independent newspaper. So the constant pain in her back, neck, and thoracic spine left her unable to lift groceries, do chores, or play with her two children. Uh, she sued RSA Insurance on the basis that she could not work for over five years. Claiming past and future loss of earnings that amounted to around five hundred and forty-two thousand dollars. That was her total claim. Her case came back. Uh, her her case came unstuck when a photo published in the newspaper almost a year after her accident showed Grapska winning a Christmas tree throwing contest. <laughs> I wish I hadn't have done like that. She wasn't just participating. She was fucking winning. Yeah. <laughs> you were. You were throwing maybe she was she saved all what she had for that day yeah she was like listen but look at the picture dude yeah she's heaving that thing (laughs) that's like a javelin toss no back pain here look at her her pants say i just can't i just can't just don't just don't take this fucking photo she should have didn't she should have walked around and just been like don't here listen i'm gonna win this thing but don't take a picture. Right. I don't, I don't want people to know how I'm doing it. There can't be any proof that I won this. Can't be any proof that I won this. But how funny is that? To be drug out of a giant insurance claim. $820,000. I want to picture them in like a, a courtroom. Mm-hmm. And this case is going. And then we'd like... Uh, uh, Judge Johnson, whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'd like to introduce some... Uh, some evidence. Some evidence of the court. <laughs> yeah. And then, it, however, you know, it's like... Projector. Yeah, it just, pops up and... <laughs> just a picture of her throwing a Christmas tree. <laughs> Is this you? Is this you? Yeah, that's me fucking winning <laughs> for the fifth year in a row. <laughs> 300 bucks. Oh, my God. Or they're like, they're like, uh, Camilla, um, we like to call Mr. or Mrs. Grabska to the stand. She's like, <laughs> she stands up. <laughs> Holding her back, she gets in a wheelchair Oof. and they wheel her up to the stand. <laughs> and she like she takes like 20 minutes, like mm. getting the sympathy from the uh, jury. She just like sits down. They're like, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Winning the Highland games. <laughs> Notice the timestamp. Notice the timestamp. This was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I threw my back out throwing that Christmas tree. <laughs> then she sues the Christmas tree throwing competition. For twelve dollars, <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna get something out of this. It's either eight hundred twenty thousand or twelve bucks, but she's gonna get something. <sighs> but insurance companies, am I right? Yeah. Just what do you? I mean, it's someone's job to get scout for this type of shit. Yeah. Like you can't get away with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, how much press is the Christmas tree contest gonna get? There's no way the right. fucking no Irish, see this. the RSA insurance is going to watch be I in the Christmas tree throwing competition. <laughs> we go back and defend my title. Oh my God. That's just so fucked up. I mean, imagine I mean, we could do a whole thing just on scamming. Oh yeah. All that people mm-hmm. trying to get away with shit. Oh yeah. Like what? Frivolous lawsuits. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love that. <laughs> this is my favorite to fucking read. What a country. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, all right, let's take off to Petty Beef. Okay. Because we got something to get into. Zach! Silence in the court. You are now entering the Petty Beef courtroom, where all sides of some bullshit will be heard and evaluated. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final-ish. This is Petty Beef. Bow, bow, bow. 
Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Y'all let's... ready for this? I'm ready for this. All right. <laughs> so many layups for that song. <laughs> oh, dude, jock jams. Dude, sure. fucking. Oh. And you were do- just, you were doing the most aggressive layups. Dude, I used, my mom was a cheer coach, so she got all those jock jam tapes. Yeah. And then when she was done with them, she'd give them to me. I'd just be, I'd go to bed with my Walkman just listening to them. ready for this? Yeah. Anyway. All right. Our petty beef for this week was sent in by our daughter, Maddie, who writes, when putting on a straw, when putting a straw into anything, are you drinking it or eating it? Okay. A little, cl- little classic petty beef here. Let's give an example here. I think if you put a straw into pudding or jello on the pudding, you're technically still eating those foods. <laughs> <laughs> Same goes for spaghetti, mashed potatoes, etc. <laughs> Who's putting a straw in yeah. spaghetti? <laughs> Just one individual noodle. <laughs> Oh How I was God. raised. It's like a pressured suck, just yeah, <laughs> just straight down your throat. <laughs> yeah, these are all things that can uh, can technically work their way through a straw, but you're not drinking solid foods. Damn it! You have to fucking eat them since they're not liquids. With- okay. Okay, Maddie's she, got a strong opinion. She about- should have put that in all caps. Mm-hmm. She did put an exclamation point though. Well, she did put foods. Yeah, in all caps. So that's good. Yeah, uh, my boyfriend is adamant that no matter what goes through a straw, you are drinking it simply because the method of consumption. Mm. Please settle this for us. Are you eating or drinking insert food here when you're using a straw? Is that where their relationship is at? Where they're fighting over that? <laughs> so things must be going the, pretty good. Yeah, they're going pretty well if that's where they're fighting. Although this is petty beef. So it's oh, that's true. Just yeah. a thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not it's not a relationship ending. Right, right, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm filing for divorce. <laughs> divorce beef. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks so much for taking time to read this and keep up the stellar work. Your sarcastic umpire daughter, Maddie. Strike. Umpire, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So this is the, this is one of those classics. One of those classic Like is a hamburger a hot dog or a hot dog a hamburger type yeah. thing? Or is a or is a hot dog a sandwich? Or what's the other one? God damn it. I just had it. Fuck it. Is a milkshake soup? <laughs> right. 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 You get it. Is cereal soup? Like that type of thing? It's just cold soup? That's okay. A- here's a question for you. Okay. Let's say you're a paraplegic. Okay. And you have to eat through a straw. You have to blend your food. Yeah. Are you eating through a straw? Or are you drinking your food through a straw? I think this one's pretty simple. Just in the sense of like, do you have to chew what comes through the straw? It's all about mastication. Yes. Yes. Mastodon. Dude, you're, you're, you got to quit it with these big words today. Masticate me. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez. Sorry. Masochist is no pain. Wonder, like no, liking no, pain. Yeah, no, wonder, it? no wonder you picked prison. <laughs> <laughs> or that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. No, you got you to smash it up. Like, do you have to, do you have to eat the thing after it comes through a straw? Like, if you have, like there's some chunks in a milkshake that you feel more comfortable chewing on, right? Like sometimes a, I like a milkshake. Sometimes it's it's I like to bounce it around, give it a chew. Okay. Yeah, even though it doesn't need it. Okay, it's just it's something about the texture, like the little but, frozenness of it. But is it just a safety precaution? Like it could go down, but you're just chewing on. Yeah, it could funsies? it could be involu- involuntary, or like you're just chewing it because you involuntary mastication. Like are you chewing or whatever water? Zach said. That's right. Yeah. No. So it's uh. No, you don't have to chew water. <sighs> I don't think it's so. To Maddie's credit, I will say it's not about method of consumption, right? It, that has nothing. If, it's straw, if you stick a straw into a food that just happened, like if you stick it into fucking rice, you're not drinking rice. Mm-hmm. You're just doing. You're you're eating rice in a weird fucking way. Yeah, it's you're using it as a utensil yes. to eat. It's a there you go. I I wish I want to like sit around and listen to the ways that they've discussed this. Has that been brought up? Like a ut- it's it's a utensil. Like a fork is a utensil. Right. I mean, you could technically spoon water. Doesn't mean you're eating it. Yeah. Right. So bring that up to your fucking husband. Yeah, you could. You can. You can uh, reach into a, a puddle of water and you scoop it up and you're using your hands like you would with a hamburger. Yeah, but you're still drinking it. Yeah. I, it comes down to chewing. If you get it into your mouth and you have to chew it, you are eating it. Right? Just like yeah. cum. What? <laughs> yeah! 
Um, yeah, just like it reminds me of the time like, if you're sucking cum out of an asshole. Oh God. <laughs> so do you eat soup or do you drink soup? It depends on if there's chunks in there. That's it. Oh, that's, okay. Hold on, hold on. No, Zach's bringing something. You in. eat the noodle, like chicken noodle soup. You eat the chicken noodles, and then at the end, if you drink the soup, you're drinking you're the, slurping. the broth. Yeah, you're slurping the broth. You're not eating the broth. Yeah, it's a combo meal. But it if it, but if it's just tomato soup, are you drinking tomato soup? I guess I guess you are if you're just sipping it. But if, I think it depends on the eating food. Tomato soup if you're using a spoon. Yeah, you don't drink a tomato, but you can drink an orange, and you can drink orange juice and eat an orange. Yeah. It has. I think the the safest bet here, it comes down to: Do you have to chew the thing? Right. I mean, I'm not. That's a good way to like to draw a line. Yeah, there's going to be just weirdness like, if, when it comes to tomato soup. Like, are you eating tomato soup? Or are you drinking tomato soup, regardless of the utensil? Utensil, because you don't have to chew it. Maybe we should stop calling it tomato soup. We just call it. Tomato broth or tomato <laughs> juice. Tomato, tomato juice. juice. But there's that though too. Tomato yeah. juice. Do do people still add tomato juice to beer? Yeah, it's called Bloody Mary. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I remember. Well, because you you said that's not to beer, is it? You uh, you know. order a Bloody Mary or whatever. But I remember my parents drinking beer and then like they yeah. like you, they called? would buy a can of tomato yeah. soup and pour it in there. Red beer. Oh. I just forgot about that. What was that? Red beer is what I heard. Yeah, call you're it. right. That's what it is. Yeah, it's usually Vodka like a the... like a hair of the dog type situation. Like the next morning, you throw a little 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 vegetable in it, thinking that's gonna help the forty beers you had the night before. You're <laughs> like, um, I, God, I feel so much better and stuff. <laughs> God, I'm glad I poured tomato ugh. juice in this beer. God, I feel better. <laughs> I've really put my steps in today. <laughs> I definitely won't be feeling terrible later. I put tomato juice in my beer. This is going to be great. Um, okay. Well, Zach, do you have anything else? Nope. To throw on this? I don't think so. Do you think it has to do with chewing? I absolutely do. I feel like that's a good, like, if we decide, if we all agree, that's the determination. Yeah. Then there's your line. There's your line. So. Do you have to chew it? If you, it doesn't matter if you're sucking it in through a straw with your hands or a spoon or a spoon. Or a spoon, or a fork, or a spork. If you have to chew it, you're, well, wait. you're fucking eating it. Wait, okay, so... Oh, jeez. You know, you can eat ice cream. I mean, you could technically... You still have to chew it a little bit. It's just squish it around. You don't have to. Well, it's not a milkshake. But, like, so like an ice cream cone, you could lick it, uh, and just swallow it. Well, yeah, because... But you don't drink an ice cream yeah, cone, you eat it. Yeah, you don't have to chew it. it. Yeah, but, you don't, but you're not chewing it. But that's the ter- determination whether you're eating it or drinking it, right? But I, I guess you're not going to say you're drinking an ice cream cone. But if the, we decided that the line is whether you have to chew it or not, yeah, you don't have to chew an ice cream. I think that just might be a, an English issue. It's an outlier. <laughs> you have to eat the you have to eat the cone. You yeah, can't drink the cone. But you you can eat it at, you can eat it out of a cup. You could just put it in your mouth and swallow it. And you're eating ice cream. You're not drinking ice cream. It's a milkshake. But you, okay. have, you have to chew ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's because the cone is on the back end of it. I'm, tr- I'm just trying to think of any loophole around. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's move on for some good news. Right. It involves a sports fellow that we all love. Woo. All right. And Zach changed his name after him. Zach! So you're telling me there's a chance. Hooray. We aren't doomed. Yeah! Was that a true story that you your name ends in a Q because of Shaq? Shaquille O'Neal. Isn't it? Yep. Okay. Hell okay. yeah, brother. Well, Shaq, although I, I do hear some conflicting things about him being an asshole or a nice guy, I feel like what I'm presented is that he's a nice guy. Yeah, Same. and a fun guy. But people that, I guess, I don't know, you read things about being closer, and I mean, I could see him also being an asshole. I he, mean, he's, he's no Bob Ross, but Yeah, he's getting there. So this teenager was struggling to find size 23 shoes to wear, and Zach came to his rescue. Woo-hoo. So a Missouri, look at this motherfucker, Whoa, that's dude. That's a big dude. This, this Missouri teenager who longed to find tennis shoes that fit comfortably finally has some of his own, thanks to NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal. Did you say superstar? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, get out of here. Okay. Jorel Bolden is 16 years old, stands at six foot five, weighs 380 pounds, and wears a size 23 shoe. Because of the size of his feet, his mother has struggled to find shoes, I, I can imagine. 
Bolden and his mother first told television station KCTV5 in January that they were struggling to find shoes that would fit. Once Bolden's story made its rounds online, including USA Today, his mother received a message that was sure to change their lives. <laughs> Just, if, you, if you're listening, you don't know why I'm laughing. He should be a lot taller. He's going to be a lot taller. I Dude, you, I mean, fucking better be. You know what they say, size of the feet. This this guy has got the biggest dick? Or what right. are we doing? Size 23 shoe? My uncles were like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and they had like 13 <sighs> size. Man. So it's 13. So it says, Entertainment Tonight, they messaged me, and she was like, someone special wants to talk to you. That special someone turned out to be none other than Shaq, who was no stranger to wearing big shoes. He wears a size 22. So this guy got bigger feet than bigger feet than Shaq. They spoke to him via FaceTime, where Shaq told him to expect some goodies in the mail. Just a few days later, Bolden received three boxes full of clothes and twenty pairs of shoes. Sweet, just fast track those shoes. God, that's awesome. He's gonna grow out of them. Yeah, I was just gonna say. (laughs) Yeah, he's gonna like, hey, Shaq, dude. Um. You guys got size 24s? <laughs> you can send over like next week. That'd be that'd be great. But I love it when people that are in a position to help help. Yeah. That's like my ultimate goal in life. Nothing can make me happier than just have a ton of money and a ton like power and just be like, dude, and just reach out and help people. Mm-hmm. So the fact that Shaq's doing that, that makes me very happy. Like Mr. Beast. Yeah, just like Mr. Beast. Absolutely. Has all this power and doesn't just like make dumb. I mean, he does make dumb videos, but he also does some great philanthropy work. And just give somebody a hundred grand. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And he does that to make more money on the videos. <laughs> but yeah, but he still gives them a hundred grand. But he also does that not to make money back. If like they he, touch the bees. Like he will help out and do gigantic things, philanthropy projects, and then make sure that he doesn't get any money back. And the money that's made from that video goes back to the same philanthropy project that he was working on. Mm-hmm. Like he, he knows what he's doing. And he, I mean, no matter how modest you try to live when you're that big, you're still going to make money. But he doesn't like live and extract. He's making billions and hoarding it. Like he's giving it right back to people. So that's just, that is awesome. So good on you, Shaq. I love that. All right. Uh, Shaq here's something funny I want to bring up that was found online by oh. Cassie. Okay. All right. Fucking roll it. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out, together, as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes! That's awesome! Or, go to prison. <laughs> as a couple. As a couple. Uh, I'm not go sure to how, prison as a couple? Not sure how I feel about this. Go to prison as a couple. But it's a thing that exists. So, Ikea's Japan, like, uh, well, that, that was weirded wordly. <laughs> you get it. IKEA's Japan's new detoxing black hot dog looks unbelievably disgusting in real life. That's got to be charcoal or something. It is. Ugh. Just charcoal layered fucking hot dog and bun called the Ninja Dog. It looks cool. Does it? Would you eat it? No. Would you eat a this black hot dog? I didn't say that. I said oh. it looked cool. I mean, there's not a whole lot to read, but the hot dog is fucking huge. It's 11.8 inches. A full three inches longer than the bun. <laughs> That's a size 23 shoe right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's just... Oh, my God. That is way gross. bigger than three inches bigger than the bun. On each side. On each side of the bun. Okay, that one doesn't look as good as the other one did. That yeah. looks like that looks like the Willy Wonka version <laughs> of the first one. Of a Costco hot dog? It looks <laughs> yeah. like something yeah. from the Lord of the Rings shit out or something. But, like, the charcoal is supposed to be good and get toxins out and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, I guess a pretty good marketing ploy. We're talking about it on the show. And I yeah. I guess if it tastes like a hot dog, would you would you eat it? That looks like a horse cock. Remember when Shrek came out and they had green ketchup? Like they just changed the color of it. And nobody bought it. I wouldn't fucking touch it. No, I mean, Remember when they made crystal clear Pepsi? Yeah. <laughs> and no one touched it. No one touched no. it. Because it wasn't good. But how <laughs> you are the you're the soda pop connoisseur. You know, you're the old pop guy. Mm-hmm. You if, you, if you, uh, <laughs> you need to know about some need, pop. You need s- some thoughts on that. Do you call it pop or soda? Pop. Pop. Nice. That's the Northwest in you. Mm. Uh, what do you call it, Zach? Pop. I, I think I, I think I, I don't even know. I think I bounce back and forth. 
I think I do too, but yeah. more pop. And sometimes my wife I, says soda. I do like the tie together of soda pop, which um, is the worst version. I like the South where they're like Coke, Coke, give me a Coke. What kind Coke, of Coke you, you can, want? Yeah, what kind Mountain of Coke Dew you Coke. want? Mountain Dew Coke. Yeah, I guess Coca Cola's marketing must have been heavier down there, just to take over, like Kleenex. Like what kind of Pepsi you want? Yeah, like Kleenex. You don't care. What type of Kleenex mm. it is. You just want to blow your nose. But mm-hmm. you say Kleenex. Saran wrap. Yeah, saran wrap. Doesn't matter. I'm just looking to wrap food. I don't care if it's Kirkland. You have that Kirkland? <laughs> what, what kind of, what brand of Kleenex do you have? <laughs> nice. I like that. Yeah, but I'm not, sh- I'm not too sure about this thing, man. I don't even know if I would, if I would try. I've never been in an Ikea. I've literally never been in an Ikea. I've been in one time one time was it over in seattle yes it was okay zach you ever been in ikea no not once it's, and that's so it's weird it's so weird to people like just kind of how we grew up and where we grew up we don't have a fucking ikea mm-hmm. in this area but so many people here in this like you've never been to an, you've never had ikea meatballs that's right <laughs> but first of all do you know how weird it is that ikea has meatballs next to the lamps like to hear that like, people are like oh you got to go there for it's the a meatballs. whole food court that's so God, that's so well, weird. I didn't realize what Ikea was. I just thought it was a furniture store. But you go, you walk through like a fucking mouse going yeah. through a maze mm-hmm. with all the different stuff. It's it's weird. Just eating your meatballs and looking at toilets. And I had no idea that that's what it was, where yeah. you're just being, you walk one direction. Really? You just get shuttled? Yeah, I, I didn't know either. It's, like, just yeah, it's like you're shuttling cattle through the store. <laughs> I can't, they, they like you're trying to eat your meatballs and look at a bedroom and you're getting cattle prodded. <laughs> Guy pops out between a fucking bathtub. He's like, Zzz. he's like, move, keep it moving. Boy, ow, oh ow, God, ow. I thought I was at a Willy Wonka <laughs> yeah. extravaganza. He's got a mouthful of meatball. Like, sorry, sorry, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, do you guys have ninja hot dogs? Zap! They're right ahead. Keep going. Okay, sorry, sorry. I was just like, admiring the chandelier <laughs> that I can't wait to put together. <laughs> And fuck it all up. Zero directions. I can't wait to put this together five times because I forgot one step. (laughs) Keep it going. (laughs) Zapping you. (laughs) What do you do? I'm the cattle prod guy at Ikea. Ikea. What? How much does it pay? $60 an hour? (laughs) Same as the to I get the cattle prod people. I was going to catch some Z's. Yeah. Catch some Z's in the the back room on some really nice beds. (laughs) (laughs) You looking for a new bed? (laughs) Dude, I eat meatballs and sleep on... Ikea beds and just cattle prod people. Down living it's the great. life. So you're homeless? Yep. yep. <laughs> I'm homeless. Well, man, $16 an hour you are. Can I, tell now. You guys, can I tell you guys a dark joke? Yeah. That I'm not sure how many people are going to find funny, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Um, when I was in Hawaii, we went and tur- uh, toured Pearl Harbor, mm-hmm. which was fun. It was cool to just kind of be part of that history and check out the Missouri, mm-hmm. uh, which is fucking huge. Have you done? Yeah. Oh, well, you, you've done Pearl Harbor. I did it when I was eighteen, so wow. it was that was twenty. Damn, still it was. The, yeah, they're celebrating their twenty fifth. So goddamn, you were out there within the first five years. Yeah. <laughs> and they, the the guns on that fucking thing when they were like, yeah, it was within whatever. It was like twenty, like with anything within twenty six miles, those guns could hit with pinpoint accuracy. They're like anything you can see, like any house. All these guns could hit it. Hmm. And you're just like, holy shit, no wonder everyone was terrified of this fucking thing. Mm-hmm. That's that's crazy. I don't remember that. that yeah, it like, sounds you're, crazy. You're, you're, you can't even see the boat and you're an enemy and you're looking with your binoculars. You're fucking uh. 14 miles up in the mountains and you're just like barely can see a boat and you're like, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait. You're just like, what the fuck? Who did that? And that was Zach. Oh, that was nice. I yeah, did. and it was just like within whatever it was ninety seconds, your fucking whole house has exploded. Yeah, by the time you see it, yeah, it's already on the way. Yeah, you get, you get a speck at twenty six miles out in the ocean, and you, for all you know, your fucking house could be next. It was that good back then. Yeah, like they re- they just they figured it out. They're crazy shit. Anyway, we were there, and we were walking by, and they were selling hot dogs as like one of the food items, and just being me and my brain. I was like, how funny would it be if they had like kamikaze hot dogs <laughs> where you bought a hot dog and it came with a little propeller on the front. <laughs> <laughs> it's poked into the the, the front of and it. And all the hot dogs are burnt. <laughs> <laughs> it looked, it would look like the, ni- oh, okay. it looked like the ninja hot dog. Okay. Now it's starting to all make okay. sense. So get it. It's all Pete Connell coming together. Mm. And then like you get a hot dog, like here you go. And they hand it to you and it has little wings on the side and a propeller on the front. 
<laughs> and the and you're like the, open up what? Tr- trying to feed the kid, <laughs> and you zoom in, and the propeller spins. <sighs> Here comes the airplane. They did not open up. They did not sell kamikaze hot dogs mm. but i thought it would be funny great marketing if they really wanted to <laughs> yeah although fantastic. by the amount of people that are there they're doing just fine yeah they don't need kamikaze hot dogs all right let's hear from some of the listeners okay all right <laughs> all right let's hear what you guys think really you want to talk to me wow that's cool Okay, you ready to get going here? I am. So this was sent in by our flower-hating daughter, Rosie, Mm. which is a funny pun. Yeah. Because her name. Probably why she hates flowers. Yeah. Says, hey, daddies, and call me Uncle Zach. Ah, come on. (laughs) I was listening to this week's episode with Brian talking about his Mexico vacation and the balloon guy. Yeah. And I wanted to share a similar story. It's it's not that similar, (laughs) but goddamn, is it funny. That'll be five bucks, please. (laughs) That'll be your entire vacation budget, please. (laughs) Let me preface this by saying that I don't like cut flowers. I think they're plant cadavers. Anyways. Cadavers. What'd I say? Cadaver. I'm so dumb. Holy cadaver. I I, I, I said that stuck in my head. Holy cadaver. Just Dio coming back out of nowhere. Anyways, my husband and I went to check out a new Italian restaurant. The food was divine. Nice. And near the end of the dinner, we see this guy with a basket of roses going to tables mm-hmm. and charging tips for the flowers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got that around here, too. Mm-hmm. My husband, knowing that I don't like them, kind of opened the menu in front of us to avoid making eye contact. Of course, he didn't take the hint and came to our table and put a rose on it with the most apologetic tone and smile I could mu- uh, m- m- I think it says muster. I said, I appreciate it. But I really don't like flowers, so please give it to someone else. He grunts, <laughs> takes the flowers, and leaves. One minute later, he's back. And now he's trying to hand me the rose, and I'm keeping my hands down, just telling him that I don't want to waste it. My husband also told him that I was okay. He then puts the rose on the table again and says, that's going to be $5. <laughs> and now I'm getting real mad, and I said, I don't think you understand. I do not want it. Please remove it from the table. He then screamed, eat the fucking flower, you bitch. What? Grabbed the rose and threw it in my face and slammed a whole basket on my table, tipping our drinks and splashed the remainder of my pasta all over me. Oh my God. He ran out of the restaurant before he could even, pro- uh, uh, he ran off the restaurant before we could even process what had happened. My husband got up and the manager immediately came to us and apologized for what had happened. Say so he doesn't work for them. That he just let them sell the, oh, he just let them sell the flowers. We ended up getting the dinner comped, which is awesome. And a $120 voucher for the next time. We ordered a, a, a couple, or we ordered to go a couple days ago. Anyway, sorry, not sorry for the long email. Honk! Your childling, Rosie. That's incredible. Eat the fucking flower, you bitch! He <laughs> throws it and then <laughs> runs away. Our flower guy in Spokane's much nicer than that. Oh, he's so nice. Mm-hmm. He's a hardcore salesman, but he's nicer. Yeah, now. yeah. I want it's the same guy. I want. I think it's the same guy. I uh, like he has a big beard. Uh, he had a shaved face. Oh, well, I know. Never mind. I, I, I know of a guy that drives between Coeur d'Alene and Spokane and sells roses at bars, which doesn't seem like that's covering gas money. Uh-uh. Like, and he'll show up on a Tuesday. Maybe he's got a Tesla. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the flower business is great. It's booming. <laughs> B- blooming. <laughs> Come on. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Grabbing an empty chocolate wrapper? <laughs> That's not empty. It's full. Oh, some chocolate in there. It's the, it's the uh, Christmas vacation one. Ah, oh, but man, what a 1989. what a fun fucking experience to just like <laughs> you have that. For, I mean, you got everything comped and 120 bucks, and then got more food out of it. Oh. That 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 flower guy did you oh. a, what? That was in the chocolate. <laughs> That's a giant hair. Christmas vacation. Oh my Christmas god, that is a vacation. hair from. How many years ago? 1989. Like you just pulled or a 10-inch long hair out of that chocolate bar. This person's probably dead. It could be. It had to have been on the floor, right? Uh, how to get in the chocolate? No, I, it must have been like. And you grabbed the wrapper and the. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Had to have been. Yeah, had to have been. There's no way that got cooked. Did in. it have to be? Okay, you ready? You ready to read our next one? While you're eating your chocolate. No. Can you? <laughs> Can I you? ate a bunch of those, and there was no hairs in mine. I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, that hair was long enough that 
<laughs> if you were oh. eating some, then something that was happen. Beverly D'Angelo's hair. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. All right, read, few read our next one. Boobs. All right. Um, our last email was sent in by our daughter Nikki, who is turning forty this month. Woohoo! Bunch of forty-year-olds yeah. now. She said he want what? She said she wanted. No, it said she. She said he wanted a Pornhub inspired she, shout out. She said she wanted is what it's supposed to say. Okay. She said she wanted a Pornhub inspired shout out, which I don't know exactly what that means. So I'm just gonna jerk off while I read this. Here. <laughs> You're welcome. I should have read that before. No. <laughs> that's, that's why I want to have you read it. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Oh, God damn go it, get Brian. The kids. Every show. <laughs> Every show. I gotta go get the kids is what that means. Yeah, Every you, day you they want to eat. No, I don't okay. have to do it today. Okay. All right. Hey, sexy daddies and step uncle. Oof. Mm. Something about hearing Nikki and sexy daddies is mm-hmm. making me aroused. Mm. I just listened to the latest episode. Words, 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 mm. words. LOL. I don't freaking remember the title. Mm. You guys are talking about the woman who was in the dumpster. <laughs> And then the dump truck. That's right. <laughs> of course we were. <laughs> Reminded me of a fun story from a past job. I used to work as an inventory manager at a big box pet store. Probably Petco. Mm-hmm. One night uh, while talk- taking out the trash from a delivery day, myself and a coworker noticed one of the boxes still had product in it. And after we tossed it in the dumpster. Well, being the, the amazing inventory manager that I was and refusing to write off the products, I figured out I'd just jump into the dumpster and recover the goods. Well, jumping in was easy, but getting out, however, however was a challenge. There you go, Joe. Okay. Um, the walls of the dumpster were flat and slick. There was no place to get a good footing to climb out. At the time, the dumpster had just been emptied, so there were barely any garbage to climb on to get out. Eventually, I managed to get out with the help of... uh with the help and lame jokes of my coworker, but it has proved to be quite the comical event. Needless to say, the first thing I did um, that sh- after that shift was f- shower. Hope this gave you guys a chuckle. I know my friends and I were laughing about it. For weeks following, I was known as the trashy bitch at work. Nikki. <laughs> I think that answers your, your question about... No, it doesn't. She got out because of lame jokes. If your life is in danger and the dump truck is, pack- like, is backing up, Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> like, that doesn't answer shit. Like, how how long did it possibly take? She's like, I was stuck in there for quite a while. What was it? Was it 20 minutes? Was it five minutes, but it was just embarrassing because you couldn't get out? But were you in there so long that if a dump truck was coming, you couldn't get the fuck out of it? Some people panic and they don't, they can't slow down. Dude, and that's, that's, that's just as big as a problem. Like, you got to fucking be able to get out of the fucking dumpster. <laughs> You were able to get in it. You shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Dude, I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to go find a dumpster. I will I will jump in. I will find my way into the dumpster. And then if I can't get the fuck back out immediately, okay. But something tells me that if I'm able to jump into a dumpster, I'm going to be able to jump back out of the dumpster. Well, remember... The chick that... Um, the jump in is going to be shorter. We don't know how... Remember, it could have been a momentum thing. Or the jump Swing in is going to be longer. Yeah, but there's no way she comically tossed herself in with the trash You never bag. know. There's might no a, way. Might be a weird angle, too. You know how they have that kind of triangular output? Yeah. That might be weird, too. Well, Hard yeah, to but, the the, but normally the front's, front is straight and the like. it's just a block on the front. The back is angled. I don't know. Mom's angled. There's no way... There's no, I will, will, I've never, like, it's been a long time, but I have jumped in dumpsters and I never was worried about getting back out of the dumpster and I'm just, uh, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it for research, but something tells me science, you be able, you be able, you gotta be able to bounce the right, the fuck out. If you can get in, you gotta be able to get out. Isn't it a little easier to get out with the, isn't it? It's a little higher, isn't it? I was saying easier to floor. get out because yeah. on the way in, you have to go higher because there's wheels on the bottom. Yeah. yeah you're on the ground and you're not. And I get ground. that the inside is slick. But like, what if, an what if it's icky? I don't give you a. You don't f- want to touch it because it's icky. But again, icky Nikki, you fucking trashy bitch mm. at work. Like there's if there's you know she was saying it's hard to get out. But if there's a dump truck coming to pick you up and put you in there and possibly smush you, what if she was deaf and she out. didn't hear the the dump truck? There, it didn't mention that in the article. We we covered that. Like there's no way. Like if she was deaf and blind, how'd she find the dumpster? 
Maybe she fell in it. <laughs> I know. We talked about they just like, was it in a cave? <laughs> okay, there's some excuses there. Hmm. Like you worked at a landfill and you fell off of a 40 foot cave into a dumpster. Yeah, you're not going to get We out. have to get more info on this. Please, somebody I don't know. I don't send know. us more info on this. All right. Well, that was episode 90. <clears throat> Had some fun. Yeah. Uh, if you want the party to keep going, we keep doing bonus episode stuff on the back end every single time. Just sign up at patreon.com. Don't be the potty poopa. <laughs> patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. If you want to see something on the show, you send it into hey guys at can you don't podcast.com. We got our Instagram and our Facebook. If you can't find us, you don't deserve to follow us because <laughs> we just type in the same shit we've been talking about. Same with the YouTube channel. If you want to see the video stuff that we were talking about today and then rate and review us wherever you listen to podcasts. And Should then if- you really have to put any sort of a link to social? Like, no. Everyone should know what the socials look are. Look up, and, can you don't? And you just look. Yeah, there's it's not. Like, there's, oh, we are the only one. It's like you have a TikTok. Yeah, just look it up. Can you don't? It's not a normal phrase. If you type yeah. in those things, you're gonna find us. And then, uh, yeah, thanks to the babysitters that moderate the Facebook page because it's a blast in there, pop in there every single day to check out what you guys are talking about, and then check out what Uncle Zach is doing. Nah. Thanks for producing today's show. Happy to do it. Uh, all the shows that Zach does can be found at scatcast.com, and that is scat with a Q. He's the scat man. <laughs> it's not It's not scat. Squat. Scat. Scat. Well, no, don't fucking. Squat cast. Don't say that to him. His, last, you know, his K is a Q, so it's scat cast. Oh, you get it? No? All right, let's wrap things up. <laughs> You're not going to say, okay, Zach, go! <laughs> Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? This is a new one I haven't heard before. How do you get a country girl's attention? A tractor. Because mm, she'll think it's sexy. And no. you attract. Yeah. yeah you oh, attract I see, I see her you with your. I thought you were just taking it at face value. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, yeah, fucking get a tractor. Yeah, you just, duh. That's what I did. nothing to do with a tractor. Dude, when I was in college <laughs> and when I was, when I'd go home and drive tractor. Yeah. And there was a couple of gals that lived in Spokane, and they they were fascinated that I drove a tractor, and they thought it was all sexy. Mm-hmm. So they was, they always thought my tractor was sexy. If you being a guy that has driven a tractor, what's the sexiest thing about driving a tractor? When there's nothing sexy about <laughs> no, it. No, it's terrible. I'm just farting in the seat all day. and Farting and hot. It's hot. And, and sweaty and loud. Yeah. No, it's miserable. That's like the, the um, like shows like Yellowstone when all these women are like, oh, he's so sexy as a cowboy. You would not want to be with a cowboy. No, they're, they're. I know cowboys. You wouldn't want to be with them. No, they get done doing cowboy stuff and they're not happy. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah they're it's not, not. They don't get done and they're pumped to be around. Because they, they're doing it again the next day. Yeah, and it's not, <laughs> to them, it's not sexy. It's hard work. It's fucking miserable. Yeah. Yeah. And you think, you have this fantasy that it's this cowboy that's going to take you on the, on his horse and, and do all this shit. It's like, no, that's not. Or come home and have the mental capacity to love you. Yeah. No, he's fucking miserable and tired. And yeah. Can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like doctors and nurses, all the sexy porn with the doctors and nurses. It's like, that's the nastiest place to have sex on earth is a hospital. Mm. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're exhausted. They're tired and they would rather you weren't there as so they go right to bed. And you're cleaning up shit all day. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Like, yeah. Well, the doctors are cutting into you the nurses that clean up shit yeah yeah all right let's move off to the bonus stuff everybody else will see you next week do your thing <laughs> Bye. Yeah.